Life is pointless. Am I trying to find a missing piece of the puzzle that doesn't exist? Am I trying to find a point in a sentence that has none? Am I trying to solve a puzzle that can't be solved? Am I trying to make a point in a life that is pointless? These are questions that became very acute to me in the last three months or so because my grandma was and as I make this has passed away. Her funeral was two weeks ago. And when I looked at her lifeless body, I looked closely for like 30 minutes. I was just trying to see, to see if I can understand better, see if I can find answers. All I could see was a body, a body that looked like her, but without the life in her. Just a body, not a human. After all, a human is just a concept, is it not? Concept in the sense of it just being a collection of different parts. The body part, the living part, or the soul, whatever you want to call it. But there is no human if there is no body, right? And the human cannot exist without the living. This is why there was no human in the coffin in front of me. Maybe I was trying to find the human in our body. Maybe this is what we all do in life, trying to find something that isn't there. I mean, what can be more significant than the significance of What is more significant than Am I constantly trying to run away from reality until I cannot do any longer? Let me be honest with you. At this point in my understanding, or better said, lack thereof, I still see significance in becoming famous, becoming wealthy, becoming father, creating impact, being the best. But isn't this all just an illusion? A big illusion that helps me cope with the meaningless meaning in this life. Aren't those things just a search for pleasure or an escape from pain? That does not have to be painful if I only saw the reality. Maybe fit you to repeat that part. By the way, if you're new here, I'm Jordan, 23 years old. I over $4 million in revenue. I had over 50 people. I make videos on YouTube since 2012. I share this because you have been conditioned to care about numbers. There is value in more, but there is value in better. Importance in improvement. But is this just all appearance? I mean, everyone seems to be focused so much on extra validation motivations outside themselves car they drive followers they have and what they think about them countries they travel all just appearance and not something they want for internal reasons which is understandable in a world full of conditioning but right now this feels unacceptable to me maybe because i saw the downfall of my grandma not being able to talk anymore after an incident not being able to ride anymore not being able to eat anymore at least not herself if death is inevitable then what's the point of all these achievements what's the point in setting goals and working towards the future if there is no future it will end at some point maybe at the pinnacle of my biggest achievement maybe midway towards my next big goal do i wait until i die before realizing that it doesn't matter. I wish I could say that for myself, I had fully realized life is meaningless. But if I did, then I would not feel stress anymore, right? Do you see what I mean? If I really realized life was meaningless, then why do I still feel stress? If memories will be gone and the future is not given, then all there is is right now and now and now. Now the mind may pop up with a question, isn't it better to stay in that illusion that you can achieve things, feel the pleasure from them? I'm asking myself and at the same time, you may want to do the same for yourself as well. I may feel more pain right now than I did before. I may experience more pain in being closer to reality than the pleasure I felt in being in an illusion. So maybe I'm exchanging the short-term pain of understanding reality for this long-term pain of illusion. Because don't get me wrong, seeing things how they are, I can't deny that it hurts sometimes. So what does come after the realization, the full realization that life is indeed meaningless. Just staying alive, just creating the illusion of purpose while knowing it is an illusion. Just optimizing for more pleasure than pain, becoming the greatest in my field, even though it doesn't have any significance. Because I will, the people I know will, the people who know me will. Eventually there may be people who haven't born yet that will know me and learn about me in history class or a spaceship tube while being alive trying to be better than others even though that doesn't matter at all or living in nature without electronics fully present living in the moment all the time from feeling extremely bored probably in the beginning to a state of neutralness or nothingness or just doing and getting the things that others deemed important you know what i mean the big apartment the car blah 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 if only there were answers to this question right now for me like katsumoto said perfect blossom is a rare thing. Spend your whole life looking for one and it would not be a wasted life. Should I spend my whole life 
trying to find answers or asking great questions? Should I live every second as if I was the only human on earth? Is the meaning of life to give life a meaning? I can keep asking questions. So that's what I keep doing. If you are serious, you may check the show notes. And to the unserious, here's my poem. Because you love to be distracted and not ask yourself any questions, don't you? The pointless point of life, a poem. Am I chasing shadows of achievements grown? Fame, money, trophies, and a house on sand? In a world where time slips through my home? Where cold's embrace awaits us all? Ambitions, great and small. Illusions, crumble, truths on view. In the face of mortality, all dreams pill. The future is not given if it holds no light. Should I then cherish? each moment every sight for in life pointless point do you agree that perhaps the greatest truth is to simply be